What's up, everybody? You are listening to X Appeal Season 2, Episode 11. And this yeah. is Part 2 of our Would You Rather... With Jen coming in with better questions. Well, hopefully. I think that my questions were pretty great last time. <laughs> or not? <laughs> no, we're sure, not sure. But I think we were on. Uh, you were more like, uh, would you rather miss an arm or a penis? Where I was. Well, more listen, like I'm not going to say that these that I don't have similar questions for this one, okay? But I I threw in some deep ones as well. Okay, good. Good. What'd you do to your hair? I like it like that. It looks good. It's great. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I just I actually just decided to do nothing with it today. Because usually you don't you unstraighten them. Usually. Well, well, you know, I have a hair and makeup artist who yeah. who does my hair every morning, but but we were running late and I like straight hair. Straight. Thanks. Yeah. I was on uh, your lot today. I was at the WB. You were at Burbanks? Oh no, yeah. you were at the WB lot? Yeah. Why? Oh, you're not on the WB lot? We're right next to it. Oh, got it. So we're at um, Burbank Studios, which is like literally oh, a block away yeah. from Warner Brothers. Um yeah, yeah, but yeah, why yeah, were you yeah. there? Uh, I'm shooting an episode of a show next week, so I had my fitting. Can you say what show? Yeah, it's a new sitcom of Apple TV. Uh, it goes by two names, Pinch or uh, Shrinking. Interesting. It goes yeah. by two names? Yeah, on it... the on the breakdown it says Pinch, but then okay. on the actual cost sheet it says Shrinking. Interesting. Yeah. So, What's it about? It's, it's Jason Siegel. And oh, uh, I love him. with uh, Harrison Ford, and uh, Harrison they... Ford did it. Yeah, in in a sitcom. Yeah, Harrison Ford is in a sitcom. You mm -hmm. know, I'll be doing the the junket for this, probably. Oh, uh, for but sure, probably. If Harrison Ford's in it, yeah, I love Harrison Ford. He's the man. You know, yeah. people used to mistake my dad for Harrison Ford um, really? back in the day. My dad's super good looking, or he, you know, before before age got him, but yeah. But yeah, no, I mean, he's, and then everywhere we went, even at the Denny's in fucking, uh, in Dover. And I'm like, why would Harrison Ford be at a Denny's yeah, in Denny's, Dover? Yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah. I hate wearing bodysuits because I I just have like perpetual wedgies. Mm. And I'm like, Ugh. Yeah, that's so funny because um, bodysuits are like probably my favorite thing on women. I love bodysuits. I know. Because because you don't have like the um you it's you know it's everything's like flat and yeah. and body con contouring yeah which and I is like great, but then you, you, get the, you can just like flip the bottom click and then well know, no you know, mine mine you can't you have do access. you can't do that with mine oh you That's gotta why. get the good ones I don't have the snap one ah oh, well you gotta get the good ones my girl she wears the snap one yeah I have the one I'm where you girl. have to like if you have to go to the bathroom like you have to like pull it aside you have to basically take off your all your clothes. To go no, to the no, you said you had to pull it to the side. You can do that too. You can pull it to the side. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's the lazy man's way of doing it. Yeah. <laughs> um, All right, go for it. Give me your okay, first. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Would you rather have superhero powers or know the meaning of life? Superhero powers. That was not slow. I didn't yeah. take you very long to answer at all. Why? I, why the superhero? You wouldn't want to know why we're all on this earth. You wouldn't no. want to know the answer to that. No, we're on this earth to try to, you know, have a good as a good life as possible and have fun, and then we die. I, I mean, I agree with you. I do agree with you. I think that I think that we're on this earth because of some cosmic evolutionary accident, mm -hmm. and we have to make the most of it, um, and find maybe find love along the way. Also, and find purpose in where we find purpose, like find purpose in whatever you make of it. Yeah, and also, cool. So you find the meaning of life. Great. You still go to work the next day. You still have to obey yeah. a guy. So your life doesn't change. Superhero power. And powers, maybe if you have a superhero changes. power, you can spy on people. I mean, can you pick whichever uh, superhero power you can? You... What would you have? Flying. Flying. I'd be spying on people. <laughs> You already do that with your dog's Instagram account, so you don't need that. <laughs> I don't even know my dog's Instagram account's password anymore, so that, I gave that up a long time Honestly, ago. Honestly, what's up with dog people? Like, why do you create a dog's Instagram account? And then, and then like, kind of like, hey, make sure you follow. Why would I follow your dog's Instagram account? 
Well, because it's actually you, though. That's why. Okay, like, great. That's the smartest thing for a celebrity to do because it's really them. And I don't know. Maybe they can slide into people's DMs and it won't look as creepy because it's coming from, you know, Toodles the fucking schnauzer or whatever. Okay, I get it. So if you're trying to create a dot, like if you want to create a separate account, for, but don't a ask us to follow it. Why would I want to follow your dog's account? Like, because if you're a dog person, you love seeing pictures of dogs. And by the way, your dog has to be cute in order for me to follow it. Like, it's got to be I'm not following a, a dog that photographs well. If I'm not, not I'm not following your piece of shit. Like, with the, <laughs> no. no, no, I'm not following it. It has a like, gunk in his eyes all the time. I'm not following in like three like, any dog's account. Now. I don't yeah. care how cute it is. I do not care how cute it is. I'm not following a dog account. I'll follow you. And I'm not it. above it. Um, you can, you all can right, send me your... a picture of that. Uh, my questions. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh yeah, God, I love this one. Um, okay. is this the one you were talking about before that you said was so good? Yeah, I think I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ease my way into. Why it. don't you save it, it for last? Save the yeah, best I'm for save last. It for last. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So I'm gonna keep it superficial too. Would you rather have a man who dressed to is constantly dressed to perfection? Okay, like constantly, every time he seems like, oh my god, he's dressed so well. Yeah, he's yeah. perfect. So you can bring him to the red carpet, but he takes every day two hours to get dressed. Two hours on the dock. First of all, or, no, takes two hours to get dressed ever. I'm just, period. I'm Unless saying in this time he takes two hours between the. He tries a bunch of outfits on. He changes. So, so just to get outfit. ready. Just to get ready, he takes two hours. No, okay, or. A guy, be with a man who doesn't care and he wears cargo shorts with Crocs and a t-shirt from uh, Maryland that he got at a tourist shop. <laughs> okay, no, I'm taking the, <laughs> taking the two hours. I'm taking the two hours. So Whatever, every can, day of your life, you know. It's fine, like, it's fine. I can figure out something to do in those two hours. I can go get a mani-pedi. I can go get like a mini massage. I can go and have some me time while he gets it, his life together. And at least but, I'll be walking out of the house with somebody who looks presentable as opposed to somebody who looks like they, they're a tourist at Disneyland. <laughs> no, but like it's 9 a.m. You guys want to go grab breakfast. You know that he's going to wake up at 9. You guys are not be out of the house by 11. So you're not going to be. But if you already know the schedule, then you can work around it is all I'm saying. Okay. Then I'll go get a workout and I'll go to yoga, whatever okay. it is. I, I'll, hey, I'll get find my in. time until, until my, until my man is, you know, ready to go and peacock it at, at a, at brunch. Okay. Okay. That was Great. easy. Great. Um, yeah. I'm easing my way into it. Ooh, this is a good one. This is okay. this is tailored directly to you. All right. Would you rather never work in movies or TV again mm -hmm. or be in a very prominent, like this ad is everywhere. It's on buses. It's on benches. It's it's running in syndicated commercials. It, it You are the face and the spokesperson for herpes medication. But I would want to do TV. I said you would rather. No, that's not the question. The question is, would you ne, would you rather never do TV and movies again or be the face and the spokesperson like a very well-known face and spokesperson for herpes medication? OK, so let me see if I understand the question. It's yeah. either I don't do this uh, ad yeah. But if I don't do the ad, I can't never be on TV and work in movies again. Right. But or if you do, do that, then ad, you're going to forever be known as the herpes guy. In, bo in both scenarios, I'm, I'm pr pretty much never be working on TV again. I mean, you could have a chance after that. I uh, know. Uh, look, look, uh, look at that, the... That's what you're going to be known for. Like it would, it would be like Jared from Subway. You know, if he didn't fall into pedophilia... It, you know, if he didn't go to jail. <laughs> no, but look at like the uh, the Dosekis guy, the most interesting man in okay. the world. You don't see him anywhere. The same with the the progressive the girl. Man. Don't the see him man. anywhere. Yeah. But you know what? I don't. I'll take the herpes one. I don't care. You take the herpes one? Yeah. Who gives a fuck? Wow. You know how much money you make on this? You probably if if you're everywhere, you you're getting TV and bags. you're probably you making bags. at least at least on the first year. You're probably talking about. 500k and then if you're right for a long time for a long time period then you're you're getting to like two three four five mil a year you fuck then everybody who sees you in the street is gonna automatically think you got the herp hell yeah all right i don't care that you know what you know what it will yeah it might help people 
deal with this and make it less of a big deal <laughs> and be like, hey, guys. You know, one out of every five people in L.A. has it. I think it's in the world. In the world? There is no, a very – it's probably no, no, higher it's in Los like, Angeles if it's, it's that world. one in five in the world. There's um, there's actually a really good. Have you ever watched Adam Ruins Everything? Uh, I've watched a couple episodes. Um, he has an episode on on sex, and uh, one of the segments talks about uh the HSV two virus. It's so good. It's great. It's very well, informative. Is that, what, is that herpes? HSV two. Yeah. Why? Why did you call it the HSV two virus? Why do that's, we have to get all clinical now? I can't just say the that's herpes. That's how it's virus. called. You, you date. You date a. You date a fucking doctor. Yeah, but I don't. We don't talk about herpes. We don't talk about that. I guarantee you, if as a doctor, he'll probably say it's. it's I'm nothing. sure he'll know right away. He, he says it's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. I honestly, yeah, I, I don't. I don't care. I would date somebody that that had, I do not could not care one bit. It's literally you, your life is not at risk. It's. You That's always a, a tough conversation if you're if you're dating somebody because I, I you know same I did, um, and it's always a tough conversation to have. Like when do you bring it up? You yeah, know? but look, so you you dated somebody that had it, and yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, but so there you go. Yeah, but we also it, it we also didn't get intimate. <laughs> so why not? Because he had that, and I I just was. It can, I'm not going to lie, but it kind of like I was like, I don't want to take any chances at that at that point. I like you, but we've only been dating for like a month, you know. Mm. Now, yeah, if I were yeah, like. That's, that's... Yeah, but when is the right time to. To tell somebody that you have something that's lifelong like that. Well, but there's the thing. There's a lot, I think, of misconceptions about it that most people don't really know. Yeah, there are. Yeah, you could you could you could be with someone that has that virus and he doesn't he she doesn't give it to you as long as they're not an outbreak get it. i think you can only get it when that person has like an active an outbreak. outbreak right exactly exactly Which so that person all the time like it happens once every while like, you know for yeah. some people so you as like if you're dating that guy as long as he's technically clear of an outbreak you have such minimal chance of getting it i know but still it's like it's it's, it's such a life it's a lifelong disease that you're like that does not kill you it, it, doesn't, thing. it doesn't but it means so, you have to take medication for the rest of your life right no not everybody does a lot of people do yeah it's not and that's why like honestly at the end of the day when they happen it's just not I, something that I, I want to be i just don't want to do it i don't want to you know what i mean i I'm, i've i want to avoid it if I can. Yeah, it's fair. Yeah. That's fair. But yeah, I would choose the 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 herpes guys and then I <laughs> I try to debunk all the stigma around it. Yeah. Okay, well that's that's noble of you. Yeah. I can appreciate that. It's like it's like honestly it's like it's like HIV. Now you have one day a pill and you the virus Yeah, I, mean, I, 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 do, I do yeah, I do think that people should try to destigmatize STDs because a lot of people are having sex and a lot of people Maybe aren't as careful as they they would like to be. Yeah, and it happens. No, for sure. Uh, all right, so that was an that was a a fairly easy answer. Yeah. All right. Uh, would you rather be in a relationship where you have sex every day? I already know what you're going to answer. You have to have sex every day. It's like every day. You have to I love how sex. I love how you went from where would you yeah. rather be in a relationship. <laughs> Where you have sex every day to where you have to have sex every yeah, day. Yeah, it's like every day you have sex with your partner in that relationship. Okay. Or you only have sex with your partner once every 10 days. Once every 10 days. I knew we were going to say that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, things have changed on my end a little bit. We've talked about this. The sex drive is not as it used to be. Yeah, Maybe but we'll hopefully get before. back there. But no. You know, I guess I just don't really need it yeah that much mm. i know how that makes me sound i know i i sound like an asexual mom no but- hey by the way i saw a video of this woman who described like having a really low sex drive and she was starting like to question a lot of stuff and whatever and then she went she went to a hormone therapy clinic and she uh she described the whole thing and because it, it started with just low sex drive and then it affected her more and more and more and like, you know, being more anxious, depressed, all that stuff. 
they checked her or- hormones. She was unbalanced. They whatever she needed, she needed like an up of testosterone and estrogen or whatever it is. Wow. And she said like a month and a half later, she was sleeping through the nights because she used to always wake up in the middle of the night. Like she said, it changed her life. Like she used to, <gasps> used to sleep. She slept through the night. I wonder. Like I wonder what back. she did. Yeah, it was interesting. I want to look into that because yeah. I so mean, hormone therapy. It's disruptive. Yeah, hormone therapy. I might look into that. Did she have a baby? Is that why she? I'm not sure. I'm yet? not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. She did that. Interesting. So you All would right. do ten, you do one every ten days? I think I would do the same. Yeah, one every ten days. I think I would do the same. Because having sex every day, sometimes you're just, boy, like sometimes you're just a not in the mood and b like. Sometimes you're in a mood where it's it's just completely opposite from from being horny. Like, I don't know. Like, I just think I, I, I see it at the different. Like you're gonna way you're to gonna go. you're gonna be forced to have sex if say your mom dies. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you don't have to that day, and then you're gonna have to have sex that same day. Are you gonna want to do that? Probably not. You have to, in that scenario. But you have to. So that's the thing is, I feel like, in uh, if you do it every ten days. You're gonna look forward to it, and I think you're yeah. gonna really you're gonna make that time every time is gonna be like, oh, this is my time. I'm, you know, we're fucking, you know, we're yeah, doing you this the, the right way, yeah. right, or like a half a day or whatever it is, and yeah. like you know, multiple. It's okay. I, I wonder if you do it every day if you don't get bored of it at some point. I don't you know. have to. I, I would think? think you would have to. I would think anything becomes routine if you do it every day, right? Mm. Yeah, maybe. It takes the 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 spontaneity and the specialness out of it. This is another this is another superficial question. But while we're on the topic of sex, yeah, would you rather never have sex again a day in your life, or only be able to have sex for the rest of your life with a woman who has tiny spikes inside of her vagine? So if. If I have sex with her, I it hurts. To a certain extent, if you do it long enough, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna. Just spikes, away. like spikes coming out. Like of tiny, side. almost imperceptible spikes. It would, be, it would almost be like you would at the end of sex, you would feel like you had a a light rug burn. Or never, no sex, but I can get head and hand jobs. No. No. Or I only can only have sex with this person. Yeah. Man, you ask you ask some weird ass questions. <laughs> so no sex at all, or have sex with a with a woman who would essentially give you like rug burn on your on your in the vagina. Feet. Yeah. Well, I'll choose that woman. You know why? Because I'll go in the butt and in the mouth, and there you go. Problem solved. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. Uh, <laughs> all right, fair enough. That's it. That's why you specified that the JJ. So that's it. Yeah. You know. Now I look, why do I look so dark now? All of a sudden. You would do um, the same thing. You would probably uh, the guy with the small with a penis f- full of baby spikes that gives you a vagina burn, or or no, no never sex in the rest of your life. You I can't think come. I you can come from the butt, by the way. I think I would choose never sex again what? for the rest of my life. Yeah. Because I could use a vibrator or something. If it's not the same. Okay. Agree to disagree. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like this, honestly, this shows that this is why you and I are exes. This is, I know. You're not, I'm like, <laughs> this, this only validates. Yeah, this we, really validates. We, we didn't work out. Okay, so I'm going to go with the cheating now, okay? Oh, with the cheating? Okay. Yeah. Would you rather find out that your man cheated on you with a man or with a girl? With a man. Not really. With a man, that's a really, that's a really good question. Uh, yeah. With a man, because then I would know it wasn't me. Then I would know that it was just, he just feels a certain way. Like he's just, I'm never going to make him happy. But what if he's it's he's thirty five he's always been with women and it's just he cheated on you with a man. Well, he's I, I'm sorry, but at that point I would I would say you've always probably had tendencies. This doesn't just come out of the clear blue sky. Um, 
I, it's not that I'm so horrid as a woman that I drove you toward a man. Like that's not that's not how it works. Yeah, I don't know. So I, I would look at it as as all right. I would feel so much more at peace if if he were to cheat on me with a man. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because there's no part of you that would be like, man. He never cheated on anybody with a no. woman. With a, no, with a I, man. I would, I would be like, one. you know what? I would actually probably want to be friends with him after that because I would be like, okay, you're now living your truth and and you're finally well, maybe he's comfortable. Bi. And maybe I, maybe there's something about me that got you to that comfort level. So I'm going to look but, at it as a win-win. What if he's bi? And he's just like, he cheated on you with a man and then he's, he's with another woman after that. And they're great. That shit's selfish. <laughs> <laughs> okay great so that was an easy answer for you yeah um would you rather your girlfriend cheat on you with a better looking guy or a worse looking guy oh, that's a good one <laughs> and that was when i just came up with on the fly <laughs> oh based on the one i just gave yeah. you yeah oh wow you inspired um, me, Julian. And are we talking cheating like a one night stand? No, this is this is like a full moving on from you. This is oh. like I shouldn't say, yeah, this is like a cheating, and then you wind up like basically marrying that next person. Um, I'd probably pick uh like um Probably a worse looking guy. Worse looking guy? Yeah, I don't really know why. I'm trying to think, but both really don't. I, I'm I'm trying to find like I don't really have any. There's not one that's worse than the other to me, whether he's better looking or worse looking. It doesn't really like affect me that much, the look itself of the person that she would cheat on me with. I would prefer the worst looking girl. Yeah. And I mean forever she, I could be like, well, you're not gonna have it as good as as good as you did with me. <laughs> no, sure. <laughs> Sure, sure. I, I would be more affected by like, you know, cheating on me with somebody more successful or a bit more of this or a bit more of that. But when it comes to look itself, I think uh, I, I, just, I don't really care if the next, you know, cheating on me with better looking. I never understood people who were like, well, at least she's beautiful. No, no. The guy is a, a, a piece of shit. He doesn't deserve beauty at that point. <laughs> he cheated on you. He does not deserve beauty. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So okay. now I have, okay, so still in the cheating. Would you rather find out that your man has, throughout your relationship, cheated on you with multiple girls or cheated on you with only one girl but repetitively throughout your relationship? It's been like an ongoing side thing. Or it's just a bunch of random one night stands with people he doesn't even remember their names. I ah, mean, that's a good one. I would prefer that's a good if, one. Uh, it's a good one. I would yeah. prefer the the multiple multiple women because yeah. that means that clearly he has some sort of emotional connection with you with the, with the other person. If it's like w the one person consistently, yeah. Um, as opposed to you're just trying to get you're trying to fulfill some physical what physical need, uh, somewhere else. Yeah, and it's probably more, it's some, meaningless. Probably some probably some sexual sexually deviant you know, behavior, whatever it is, with some other girl who's, like, willing to throw down like that. Okay. I get that. Like, I'm I'm at peace with that. There's nothing that okay. I can do to 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 help you out in that department. Yeah. Like, you, you need Jesus. <laughs> what if he's <laughs> atheist? What does he need? Well, then I'll, I'll, I'll see him in hell. I don't okay. know. Well, he's not going to um, He's atheist. He's atheist. Just because, you don't, just because you don't believe doesn't mean you're not going to go there. No. Mm. I'm not religious. Um, what about you? <laughs> Cheating on me with one guy versus... Cheating on you with one guy consistently versus multiple dudes. Um, question. I think I would... Uh, I think I would pick uh, one guy. One guy? So yeah. you'd rather her have an emotional, a deep emotional connection with somebody else than physical connections God. with other people. Either way, more likely, more than likely, it's going to end, right? Yeah, because um, it's unacceptable. 
I think it could honestly, ah, that's a tough one. Here's the thing. If it's just one guy, I'd be like, clearly, you know, you were getting a lot from me, but you were missing like 20% that you were able to get from this one person, right? Yeah. So I'd be like, okay, I get that. But then one guy exactly would say you have an emotional connection. So there's you yeah. cheated on me physically, but you also cheated on me f emotionally. Yeah. Which kind of hurts a little bit more. It hurts. But because, then yeah. if it's if I find she slept with like different random dudes at night, like one night stands, I'm like, so it has nothing to do with me emotionally, which I'm cool with. But then I'm like. It's kind of a hoish behavior. So I'd be like, ah, so I read you wrong. So then I feel bad about myself. And I'm like, okay. I read you wrong. Um, so. So, hey, you know what? Maybe I'll switch my answer. I might go with multiple and just be like, yeah, you know what? It's because ultimately it's I think it's less hurtful that way. I think knowing I think, that you were enough emotionally for someone is just yeah. Uh, that's that means there's flex. something wrong with it because you know everyone's gonna age, everyone's looks are gonna fade. So at the end of the day, it's all about you know your your personality and and you as a person and your soul, and not yeah. necessarily what you look like and the physicality of it all. And also, I, I mean, if we you know expand like you, we've seen relationship work or we've heard of relationship work when they're polyamorous. Which they maintain one met, uh, phys like emotional connection, but they have multiple physical connection. Yeah, and it seems like when you talk to these people, the physical, the physicality isn't as important as the mental, like the right. partner that you right. have, right? The physicality so, issue is easier to fix than the than the yeah. emotional component. Yeah, but I've never heard of a couple knowing they had a full on other relationship with someone else. Yeah. yeah, well, that's when relationships end, and even even people who we've talked to who are in multiple or uh, open relationships, as they say, uh, their one of their ground rules is you can't get emotionally involved yeah. with another person because at that point you're talking about loving multiple people or or falling out of love with your current partner and maybe falling into love with somebody else. Yeah, exactly. And that's when they know the relationship is over. Um, okay. Last question for you. Last question. Yeah, you making that up as well? No, but okay, mine's yeah, mine's more are. of a salty. Mine's more of a salty question. Okay, go ahead, go for it. Would you rather? Would you rather move to California and live paycheck to paycheck between rent and taxes, or live in Texas where the government can tell you what you can and can't do with your body? Bang. <laughs> and am I a baller over there? <laughs> no. Do you know what question that is? You know what question I'm asking? I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but what's my yeah. what's my status over there? No, that's a facetious question. That's a facetious question. I wanted to end on a sour note by saying fuck the Supreme Court and their decision making. Uh, I understand. But... but I can ask I can ask another uh legit question though. Okay. You want to end on a legit question? This is actually a good one. Okay. Would you rather have one million dollars now mm -hmm. or coin flip for 10 million dollars what's coin flip like flip a coin if it's if it's heads or tails 50 50 shot that you're gonna get 10 million dollars or zero Ooh. that's a good one isn't it uh so you take your chance yeah we did a little poll here at extra and people were split 50 50 i'll take the 1 million and i'll find a way to make it 10 there we go you know there we go donald trump that that shit do you mean go to bankruptcy <laughs> no, no. Did his father give him like a million dollars whenever he graduated or whatever, and he he started investing in real estate? Is not? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's what I would do if I had a million. I would clear some people, some of my people and close friends' debt, and then I'd keep the rest and just like uh, um, that's that's nice of you. And I would uh, and I would uh, invest the rest, either that's buy nice a little property you. or a few properties. The only thing is. If you, even if you have like 800, 900, like 700,000 in California, you can't buy shit. So you have to like. I was going to say it's a million dollars, but they're going to yeah. tax you by half. So you, it's really only. Five. Oh, so it's it's not even tax free. No, I'm joking. A million? Uh, Come in, this on, hypothetical, in this hypothetical, it was going to be tax free. But OK, great. But now that you push back, I want I want half your money. Okay, so now we're gonna get my last question. Okay, this is, is the, I think my favorite. Well, you've been hyping this question up for a while. Yeah, maybe so. I hyped it too much. I'm very, I'm very curious. Okay. So would you rather be in a happy relationship where you are the happiest you've ever been 
in this relationship with anybody else. Okay. But, but he's cheating on you. But you will never find out. So your reality is this is the best relationship I've ever had. You will never find out. And you are happy as you've ever been. Or you're in a mediocre relationship where you're kind of like, eh, but he's faithful. Oh, my God. That's yeah. a really good question. Yeah, that's actually, you are right. One. That's a really good question. Yeah. I mean, ignorance is bliss. Mm -hmm. So if you'll never find out about it and you're the happiest you've ever been, then go get your happiness, boo. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay if you're never going to know about it. I, I don't know if you'll ever know. Maybe you'll find out in like Oh, well, if you years. find out, then that, no, then all, all bets are out the window. <laughs> if you're going <laughs> to find out, the whole, the whole idea of the question is you're never going to find, find out. out. Yeah. If you're never going to find out, then sign me up for a lifetime of happiness okay. and cheating. Okay, no, yeah, you'll never find out. But, you know, people, there might be one or two person around you that knows. You know, well, then they're, then, then they're not my friends. If they don't, if they don't they, tell me just, shit, then they're not my real friends. Sure. So you I, pick your own reality. I think happiness. it's, I think it's, yeah, you choose your own adventure. I really, I really feel like I'm going to live in my own reality, my own blissful, ignorant reality and be happy. I choose happiness. Yeah. What would you pick then? Yeah. Same. Yeah. Same. Because well, ultimately, you don't know what's, like, uh, it's if, not going to kill you. Yeah. And if you're, if you're happy, that's the most important thing, right? It's just like, yeah, listen, I'm in a great relationship. That's my reality. And if this person is cheating and they, it makes them a better partner to you, then great. Okay. You know? Oh, wow. So. Wow. This has been deep thoughts with Julian and Jen. Well, we went from vagina with spikes to yeah. deep like relationship happiness. From sandpaper vaginas to, exactly. to, yeah. Would you rather just be ignorantly happy? Yeah. No, that's fair. Okay, great. Well, that's it for our Would You Rather episode. Part if you one have any Would You Rathers, two. if you have any Would You Rathers, uh, send us a send us a message. Yeah, actually, this could be like a an type of episode we could come back to. I like these. Yeah, these and we want to know what your answers to some of these questions would be. Yeah, so make sure you DM us. That's it for today. Bye. All right, all right. You guys have a great day. <laughs> And a great week. <laughs> <laughs> Never has there been a more uncomfortable outro in the history you of outros. I know. All right, well, you knew. You right, have, have a good have a great day. day. A Huda Media Production.